I mean, the history of the world is a history of migration, right? It's, it's a fact of life. There's, there's, there's going to be migration for many, many reasons, for people seeking shelter uh, from abuse and from persecution, for people who are looking for a better life. There, there are so many reasons for uh, natural disasters. There are many reasons for, for migration. And I do think uh, there's always going to be a need for a place like Las Americas. We have a daunting immigration system where not everyone is going to be privileged enough to even have an opportunity to gain some sort of legal status to stay, live, and work in this country. We know that only 14% of people in deportation proceedings are actually represented by counsel. This is a nationwide statistic. So Las Americas is able to, the, the representation that Las Americas is able to provide, um, it's something that we're very proud of because despite uh, scarce resources, we're doing the best we can to serve as many people as we can, and the goal is gonna always be to expand our services and to continue to be around, because there's no doubt in my mind that um, El Paso needs Las Americas, the country needs Las Americas, the world needs Las Americas to continue to exist and to provide services. Well, since the start of volunteering here, I've um, been able to see how essential Las Americas is to the community, how much we help so many people, um, I've been able to see, you know, clients come in from all walks of life and, you know, how much it means to them uh, for us to do the work that we do and that we're able to help them come out of, um, you know, a, a terrible situation or and just being able to provide them um, help and give them a sense of hope that there's, you know, that here in the United States where there's people that are still willing to help. Se brincaron tres policías la barda y, y me dijeron que me iban a matar. Que si no agarraba los 50 mil pesos, iban a matarme. Yo les, dije que les, vol les volví a decir que no. Entonces el policía sacó la pistola y con sus dos manos me apuntó a la cabeza. Y me disparó cinco veces. No más que Dios es muy grande. Yo creo ahí estaba junto a mí y porque me dijeron te vamos a matar y yo les dije si Dios quiere que me muera que se haga su santa voluntad. Me dispararon cinco veces y nomás me entró esto aquí. Ahí está el balazo que así y salió por acá. Mm. La licenciada Linda fue la que hizo esa bendición tan grande para mí. We have a unique perspective here at Las Americas. We're right on the border. Um, so we see sometimes the most difficult of stories in um, the way asylum seekers are treated. And Las Americas plays a role in trying to remedy some of the wrong that goes on with asylum seekers. Asylum seekers are detained. Asylum seekers are very, you know, especially now um, in this past year and a half, very seldom ever let out of detention. The work of Las Americas is extremely important because uh, we have Many people in El Paso and in our area in West Texas and southern New Mexico that really need our services because we, we offer legal advice and legal services to, to a needy population, in general to a vulnerable population.
I was brought here as a child uh, about 12 years ago and then you know when the when the DACA came in that's when I when I started researching for centers that could help me out and stuff like that and I was able to find here you know a lot of businesses and lawyers and stuff like that you know they're they're there to make money um, and I do believe that Las Americas is here to help out the community I think that personally um, Las Americas has allowed me to grow it's um, made me have a thicker skin <laughs> I, I think that um, it's really cool to be able to help people in this capacity and that every case that I've ever worked on has touched me immensely in different ways. And just the work that we do definitely has been something that has continued to push me to remain here and to grow more and learn more so that I can keep helping people in this capacity. Las Americas has been able to survive uh, 30 years, sometimes of uncertainty, and now more than ever, um, Las Americas is needed um, to help with some of the fear that's going on in our community, help with education and representation and advocacy. So now is a very important time in Las Americas history, in this country's history, for us to continue these services. The goal in my mind would be that one day we wouldn't be needed if there was able to be a respect for migration as a right, as a human right, then where Las Americas wouldn't have to fight for people because that fight would have already been um, an, an, an unnecessary one if the people were to realize. But at this point, we are very needed. And it is through you know private donations, it is through private foundations, it's through people in the El Paso community that we've been able to stick around for so long. And so I think it's just important to remember that these, this is 30 years and we're gonna need another 30 more. And thanks to, um, to everyone's generosity, we are still here and we continue to be here. Every country has its rules and regulations about immigration. And uh, there, there are always gonna be vulnerable people who, who need our help. So I think our work is crucial. It's crucial right now. It's always been crucial.